a very hearty welcome everyone and i am vinaya product marketer for zuhu campaign so i'll be the host for today's session and we also have kartik from support team he'll be taking care of uh, any of the questions that you may have during the session and we'll also have a dedicated q and a session at the end of the webinar so if you have any questions during the sessions or during this q and a session feel free to ask them in the q and a tab on the left uh, top left uh, corner of your screen so i think we are good to start so let's begin the webinar so today uh, i will be talking as you all know about creating a personalized holiday email campaign like from the start like from the start phase of building your audience to the final process of sending and analyzing your report we'll be understanding how in each step we can personalize our holiday, entire holiday email campaign strategy so to understand the about personalization and and in each step we we will be taking up an example of zilka uh, so we have uh, let's take up example of zilka food and food catering services so food catering services are pretty much famous during holiday seasons and um, uh, so and they uh, they are starting they are beginning their journey to uh, personalize their email marketing uh, strategy in each of their uh, steps that they are going to take now so with that they begin the journey with certain objectives so one of the first one of the first objective they have in their mind was to personalize their email list and then they wanted to personalize their email campaign and then they, and they wanted to evaluate reports and analytics and then based on the analytics and based on the metrics they have obtained uh during or during the entire email campaign process they uh, based on those metrics uh, they wanted to plan and automate their entire holiday email campaign so these were their set of objectives that they had in mind and with that we will be also able to understand how we can set up our own objective for our, our own businesses so let's start by uh, seeing how they started to build their uh, contact base so when we talk about contact base uh, like there are plenty of uh, custom, uh, prospective customers out there but every business but the uh, for the customers for each and every business will differ from each other so for a fashion industry for a for a business which are who are into the fashion industry their customer base will be completely different from the from, from the uh, business who are into food industry so their customer base will be different so as uh, so to begin so while you start your email campaign uh, journey start with an aim uh, start with an aim to uh, uh, to build a contact base with the touch of personalization by targeting your um, customers who are actually interested in your business so so let so for that uh, on 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 an offline basis you can just go in to an in networking events or social gatherings where uh, people of similar interest to your of your business uh, gather together and uh, interact about Uh, their product or services. So that you can just go and connect with them and network with them and try to convert them into your leads and then into your uh, add add them into your email marketing journey. So that's one of the most traditional ways to uh, build your contact base, most tried and tested ways. And another way to you build your contact base is to <laughs> embed a sign up form or a pop up form in your uh, uh, web page, websites. so uh, so it's uh, very common to embed a sign up form and pop up form in website and convert the, those uh, convert those uh, visitors into a email campaign but while while preparing this like while uh, designing your sign up form or your pop up form ensure to add a touch of personalization and customize it and position it according to your customers interests so so for to understand this better like how to understand how we can customize and how we can position our uh, sign up form we'll just get in, into the product and understand them in detail so now let's uh, so let's start from the dashboard and we can just navigate to contacts <laughs> sign up form 
create a form. So let's name our sign up form as Zilka. So this is just for our own uh, understanding, uh, just to I, for our for our own identification. Zilka food limiter. And let's choose a template. So there are multiple uh, uh, sign up forms available in, inside of Zoho campaigns. And you can just pick and choose any of it and start customizing it based on your uh, business needs. We also have, um, so under sign up form, we have compact form, banner forms, and long forms for, uh, uh, so for some uh, webs, uh, for some, Email campaigns, you may require two or three uh, fields uh, details. So, if you need more than, uh, let's say, if you need more than two fields, you can just go for long forms. And we have pop up forms. Under that, we have standard pop up and blanket pop up. So, let's pick up a compact form. Like just let's choose uh, compact form and use this template. And here, as we spoke about customization and personalization, here you just you can easily customize the text, the field, the sign up, uh, the CTA buttons, and the color of your uh, uh, sign up form, everything based on the type of business you're into uh, make the changes to the background or border or uh, or let's say you want to change the um, text here let's see Zilka code so you can just easily change any of the sessions mentioned in the sign up form and start get going so this is one of the ways to customize your <laughs> sign up form and uh, you can also uh, change the field like if you want to name your field you can name your field if you don't want to name your field you can just uncheck it and then just go with email address and everything so this is one of the way you can uh, customize your sign up form this uh, so when it comes to pop up form Let's say we're, let's go and pick up a standard pop-up form and uh, use this template name. So similar to, uh, similarly here, you can just change the page body or change the text formats, input field buttons, and uh, you can even change uh, the error message that uh, you want to show. So, and so apart from that, you can also set up where do you uh, uh, set up and position your uh, pop-up form uh, based on your own needs? Let's say if you feel that your uh, visitors are someone who uh, who will who will, who will be able to who you can convert into the uh, into your email campaign contacts as immediately when when they enter. In that case, you can just uh, uh, customize and position the pop-up form when the visitor enters their website. Or if you want to pop to a uh, position, you want to position a pop-up form when the, when the visitors are about to exit, then you can go with the exit option. Or uh, also you can position it based like if you want to position in the center of the web page or top left or top right. So all of these customization and placement of the pop-up form can be done. And uh, and this is something which varies from one business to another. So what a positioning, a positioning, so it's all about trial and error basis. So you can just go with, <laughs> begin with positioning your proper form at the um, center or uh, you can, like, you know, you can just choose based on your needs and just go with it. So when it comes to customization of sign up form or proper form, you can easily customize the design, the fonts, and also the positioning setup of your proper form. So this is one of the ways you can customize and embed the sign up form at the right place. So if you're talking about the uh, food industry, then you must the page should have 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 similar content that talks about the food industry. 
So uh, and ensure that you are embedding the signer form at the right place, at the right positioning, and with the right fonts that matches the theme of your web page. So that's one of the ways to ensure that uh, your uh, signer form is is crafted in a personalized and tailor fit way, tailor fit way to match the needs of your potential customers. So that's about signer form. Now let's move on to the uh, next session, which is. Um, organizing and maintaining the contacts that you have gathered in now. So you, let's say with, with the help of networking events and with the help of sign up form, you have gathered uh, plenty of good uh, quality customers who are interested in your email campaigns. And now the next step is to organize them and, and uh, uh, organize them and maintain their uh, uh, post, uh, their uh, store. Uh, there and maintain it, the contacts in such a way that it is easy to, for you to retrieve it as and when you are sending your email campaign. So the first way is to make use of topic management. So uh, topic management is assigning the campaign and organizing your contacts based on the choice made by your contacts. So that's topic management. We'll just go into the product to understand in detail about it. And then we have segmentation, which is grouping st and storing your contacts based on their geographical location, interest, purchase history, and much other uh, fields. So we'll just go inside the product to understand each of these uh, features in, in depth so that we can see how we can organize and structure our contacts inside Zoho campaigns. So let's again start up uh, from dashboard. We can, we can go to contacts and then we'll go to manage topics. So here is where you can find uh, the setup or uh, the place where you can set up topic management. So to anyone who is new to topic management, uh, just to give you an example of what topic management is. So let's say I go to a restaurant and you want to order certain foods. Uh, you want to taste some trying few foods and, and you don't want to uh, taste other foods. So what you're going to do is you ask for a menu card. So based on, uh, so you, you look through the menu card and uh, give your orders to, to the waiter. So that menu card is topic management here. So this is where you are going to customize that menu card. And when you click on preview, you can view it. So this, this is how your uh, uh, customers are going to uh, look uh, view the topic that you have set up. So let's say So let's see. Uh, so right now we have uh, two products under this topic management. Now let's add a new product, uh, which is Zilka. Put <coughs> limiter. And here about the product, let's say it is. Um, um, holiday food catering services so you you have uh, mentioned a new product and provided its description so this particular industry this particular organization pro uh, provides you know talks about multiple topics let's say it sends out monthly uh, monthly newsletters. Or let's say, okay, we can go with monthly newsletters, uh, which says about discounts and offers of that particular month. And then we have uh, a holiday season uh, offers, which is 
especially curated offers for the holiday season. So uh, discounts on uh, catering services. So you can just keeping you can just keep on adding the topic that uh, this uh, your particular business provides and click and then you can just go and click on preview it so you can see the so you can see the industry that we have added and the topic that we have added has is reflecting on the preview page so as let's say i'm i'm the customer i'm the prospective customer for the food limiter so i'll be looking into this uh, particular uh, uh topic set uh, subscribe this topic management page and i will just say i just want to receive holiday season offers i don't want to receive their monthly newsletters i just i just want to receive the holiday season offers so i'll just check on it and click on save preferences so once i click on save preferences automatically i'll be uh, receiving email campaigns regarding this particular topic so uh, so based so this gives your customers a space to express their needs express their uh, express the type of content that they want to uh, receive from you so based on their choices you can start curating your holiday email campaigns so this is the one of the first way to organize your and to listen and understand to your customer and organizing that uh, uh, their communication system inside Zoho campaign and then moving on to the next process of segmenting and creating your uh, contacts so cre cre creating your email campaign so that's about topic management and then next we'll discuss about segmentation so segmentation is <laughs> segmenting your entire contact base based on a particular criteria so let's say uh, let's go to contact segment and then create a segment so let's name this segment as uh, Zilka uh, or uh, Canada. So I'll just go with. is Canada so or I can just keep adding a few more criteria countries say India or <laughs> you can just keep on adding your criteria and uh, the multiple segmentation will be created and uh, all the uh, uh, customers who are residing in this particular geographical area will be segmented into one particular segment so you can also segment your uh, contacts based on the city state website address advent time and opt-in time ip address and everything and uh, first name sub so first name last name so during your uh, uh yeah so job title company name based on all these criteria you can segment your contact base and start sending out the uh, your can email campaign to this particular segment as well so just click on save and automatically all the contacts who uh, who, are, who are added in this particular category will be list segmented so we can see that we have a new segment here which is in canada so automatically everyone in this particular category will be segmented so if you want a separate and so ensure that you are naming your segmentation based on the uh, criteria let's so here i just wanted to segment based on this geographical area so if you want to segment it, it based on your first name you can just name it uh, Zilka, so and so first name and etc so this is one of the uh, ways to organize and uh, Position your contacts in Zoho campaigns in a, such a way that it is directly related to their, their directly related to their taste and preferences, their geographical area. So it will become so by so this will help you to uh, send out email campaigns to the right person at the right time. So that's about segmentation.
now let's go to let's uh, so we spoke about how we can uh, build our contacts and how we can manage and how we can maintain and organize them in zoo cafes which moves us to the next step which is uh, personalizing uh, creating a personalized email campaign and then once we have created a personalized email campaign we can move on to the understanding how we can send the email campaign at the right time and then we'll discuss about tracking and uh, analyzing your campaign's performance and based on the performance we will see how we can automate your entire email campaign so let's just go back to our uh, demo account so let's start with creating a campaign campaign email campaign create a campaign a regular campaign let's name it as and um, you can just uh, choose a topic let's say <laughs> newsletters so automatically uh, the contacts you have chosen newsletters as the topic will be receiving this campaign so it is mandatory to name your campaign and also to uh, associate that particular campaign with the topic so once we have done these two steps we can just move on to the next step of subject creating a subject line and this is the first step of creating an email campaign so here even here you can add a touch of personalization by adding their first name or uh, last name and all of that or you can even add a emojis to further personalize your email campaign you can add a pre header that defines your subject line i'm just adding here for uh, just for an example and then you can select the sender details so let's see when you are from silka So you add your sender details. You can choose your audience. So you can either pick a particular list, or you can go even you can pick up a particular segment. So we have created this segment recently. We can go with this segment and save it. So we have everything ready. So our uh, Okay, so the so this was just an example. Uh, so so we have segmented it just for example. So it doesn't have any uh, 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 contacts in it. So so anyway, so this is how you set up uh, your subject line, set the details, the recipient, make it all ready, and then create your content. You can go with the pre-designed template, and under pre-designed template, we have multiple uh templates and especially for holiday season we have a, a great number of options that you can just pick and choose and all of these these templates are very responsive in nature and uh, they are responsive uh, to all types of gadgets uh tabs laptop or mobile view so in all of this any of the uh, devices your customers are viewing your email campaign from they, they can they'll have a good uh, readability easy readability so let's choose with go with this particular template so the first one of the first ways to customize your uh, uh, email campaign is to add a dynamic content so there are multiple dynamic types let's go with uh, we have text we have image we have text and image and we have button so we can customize your uh, so when you click on let's say dynamic type text first name is uh, lisa and then you add a content here hello lisa so this particular content will be viewed only by uh, for only by contacts who, whose first name starts with lisa right so rest of the content will be uh, uh, visible to everyone in the in the same read but this particular session will be only personalized for the for the uh, contacts whose first name is Lisa. So further, you can uh, uh, 
customize your uh, dynamic content based on multiple other categories. Also, you can customize a particular image or you can personalize both image and text or you can even personalize the uh, button or CTA. So that's about customizing and you can also add a merge tag. So let's see. Hi. Oh. Hello. Uh, add a contact first name. So automatically the contact first name, let's say hello Vinaya, happiness is coming. So automatically contact first name will be added here, which will again give a personalized touch to your holiday email campaign. So this is about customizing. Basic way you can customize your holiday email campaign. So which the customization process starts from your subject subject line, sender details, recipients. And uh, in recipients also you have multiple options. We have uh, we can go with the uh, segments or we like we discussed we can go with a list. <coughs> so to so we can go with let's say uh, with this particular list. And once you have your email campaign ready, cust a customized email campaign ready, uh, automatically will be directed direct to the next step, which is sending your email campaign. So there are two ways to send your email campaign. You can send immediately or you can send later. So, well, so when you launch your email campaign, when you decide to launch an email campaign, uh, it's always necessary to ensure that you have done a good research about your audience base. So send or schedule your campaign based on the time zone like understand the time zone understand the availability of your customer and choose that particular option let's and schedule it based on uh, your customer base or you can even go with uh, if you have sent two or three campaign uh you so campaigns will provide an optimal open time so based on and if you click on optimal open time based on uh, uh, previous campaigns and previous open time a uh, particular open time will be suggested and you can just go and opt for it. So these are the way you can send out your email campaign. Uh, so now we have sent our email campaign. We can just go to report session. So under reports, we have campaign based reports and list based reports. <laughs> so under the campaign based reports, we have we can view. Uh, so we don't have a uh, exact data here, but this is a demo account, but you can view it in your uh, account so we can so based on metrics such as send open click rate or based on the year by year comparison you can understand how you have how your entire email campaign has performed till now or how you can you can also see how a particular email campaign has performed or you can see which so let's see so here we have this particular email campaign performing better than the others so you can see what worked here and what didn't work did not work here so you can understand your plus or minus and based on this understanding, you can go and plan your holiday campaign, holiday email campaign with the help of workflows. So you can go to automation, workflows, create a workflow. So there are two options here. Either you can customize your workflow or you can just pick up a uh, ready-made workflow templates which, which are available. We have welcome onboarding, nurture series workflow, re-engagement workflow. So you can just choose a particular template and just start get going with it. So it, other, the other way is to customize your workflow. So let's say Zilka. Good. And you want to customize your workflow here and uh, you have a particular plan in your mind and you want to customize your uh, entire email campaign strategy. So for that, it, this is the canvas that you can use to plan your email campaign from scratch and then automate your entire email marketing strategy. So let's say uh, yeah, we have a plan to, um, uh, you know, send, send out email campaigns to uh, particular customers who enter through a particular sign up form. So let's say, so let's drag, pick and drag and drop form submission. Select a particular form, a specific sign-up form, say Zilka Limited, and save it. So all the customers or all the prospective contacts entering through Zilka Limited will receive the next process or next workflow 
or what are the next action that we are going to take so let's say you want to send out an email campaign so every, anyone who enters through this particular form will receive an email campaign and you can take the next action based on the uh, behavior that uh, they have shown towards this particular email so if you enable response you have multiple response options here let's say clicked on any link and opened so you want to target the customers in a different so you want to target and uh, engage with co contacts who have opened your uh, email in different way and for and you have other set of contacts who have opened and also clicked on any particular link in a, you want to engage them in a different way so in that case you can split them into two different flows and uh, engage them engage with them in your in a personalized and customized way based on their be, uh, behavior or response shown towards this particular email campaign so let's see uh, i'll add a score of uh, i'll add a score for those who have opened my email campaign and those who have clicked on any particular particular list i'll add them to a particular email uh, link the list so this is how i am i'll be uh, engaging i'll be managing the uh, contacts who have opened my list and open my email campaign and those who have clicked on a particular link so further you can just go on keeping on planning your email email campaign strategy here and then once you are ready you can just go and click on activate so this is one of the ways to, uh, to you can plan your entire holiday email campaign in this particular canvas and then automate it we have multiple options to personalize and your entire workflow based on your business needs and just start getting uh, and start getting automating your entire workflows here so now let's have a quick recap so let's rewind so we spoke about targeting and so we spoke about how we can build your contact base by uh, uh, with the help of sign up form and by, by networking in particular social gathering and then how you can organize your contact base based on their taste and preferences and then how you can uh, uh, with the help of topic management and segmentation and then with uh, how you, with how with the help of dynamic content and most uh, you can customize your email campaign and send the email campaign schedule them at the time when your customers are ready and then analyze your past email campaigns based on multiple metrics such as open rate click rates and uh, based on that you can just uh, go you make use of workflow canvas to plan and then automate your entire holiday email campaign stack so that was just a quick uh, uh, you know overview of how you can plan and uh, schedule, uh, schedule your entire email campaign strategy and so before we wind up let's ha let's have a quick look, look into some of the best practices which is first one is to obtain the consent of your subscribers before you send out your email campaign and the second thing is to uh, reach out to subscribers at the best time and provide valuable content and relevant offers which uh, you can understand valuable content and relevant offers based on uh, the topics they have selected and the last thing is to uh, make the best use of the data so with uh, the report session is the data gold mine so you can just understand the reports you can understand your set, uh, performance and based on that you can plan and uh, set up your holiday email campaign so before we dive into the uh, q&a session i just wanted to thank everyone who have attended this webinar and if you have any doubts you can reach out to me at this in, uh, at my email id or you can also reach out to support at zoocampaigns.com